Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? I'm super excited today because I just got this email from OpenAI. I applied for the Dolly beta program, I don't know, probably like a few months ago. It looks like I finally got accepted. So I'm gonna try it out today. Now this is the first time I'm gonna use Dolly. So I'm really excited about this because OpenAI has made some really cool products in the past. For example, GPT-3, which I actually made a video on a while back. So GPT-3 is a machine learning model that is text-based. So you can give it a question or a prompt and it'll respond to the best of its ability. And its responses are oftentimes very, very human-like. My understanding is that Dolly takes text as an input and outputs an image, which is really cool. So without further ado, I'm gonna dive in. All right, here goes nothing. What should I do? An octopus driving a car. That's easy. It's gotta be easy, right? Oh, okay. Sort of? What? <laughs> That's a car. <laughs> what? That's a person driving a car octopus. Okay, that's something. Here's a cropped octopus with a steering wheel. I don't know why there's, why is there percentages in all these? <laughs> this is kind of interesting. It's an octopus with a wheel of driving wheel for a mount. What is all this text in here? All right, I'll take it. That's, that's pretty cool. I mean, none of these are knock the ball out of the park, but why are these? I feel like part of this is getting cropped. It looks like, like all of these, it looks like there's some stuff that gets cropped off on the sides. I wonder if that's, is that intentional? Okay, what else can we draw? Octopus in the style of Salva Dali. Since it's called Dali, it's got to do Dali well, right? I don't know about that. Ferris the Rust Crab doing karate. No. It's just giving me photos of crabs. Not, they're not even ninjas. A cat doing karate. Maybe, okay, so th this example here, it says mad scientist mixing sparkling chemicals, digital art. So it's it's very very specific about the style. I noticed the style of mine. Oh, okay. Okay, I did that pretty well. That is clearly a cat in a dojo with a gi on. Okay, what is this? What the heck? A cat writing computer code, digital art. Yeah, and all the examples, it specifies a style. So maybe that's part of my problem. 3D, okay, so I can say 3D render. Wow, these are pretty trippy. <laughs> uh, this one's a winner. Wow. That cat looks like it has like a globe for an, it has five eyeballs and it has a globe for its mouth or, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this one. I feel like it sees text and it makes up this random, completely arbitrary character system based on the training data. I guess some characters are normal, like this is, <laughs> this image. That's nuts. I didn't expect to see stuff like this. That's crazy. I don't know what's up with C07. The letter C appears in all these. They all have C's and two of them have C and T. Yeah, clearly the training data, the pictures of cats, the word cat is in the photo too. Or maybe like they, they amend the training data or they supplement it by superimposing the word of the thing onto the image of that thing. That's my guess. A very stressed out software developer. What is all this text? <laughs> you can tell the guy's stressed and there's like a very minimalist style to it. It's got just the right brush strokes to let the viewer know that he's stressed. That's something a good artist would do is be able to convey that he's stressed without using too many brush strokes. I don't know, I think that's crazy. 3D rendering of an octopus typing computer. I don't know why I'm doing a bunch of octopuses. This is really cool, but I don't think digital artists need to scramble to find another career path quite yet. Wow, that's, these are pretty good. These are really good. You can tell it wasn't, it didn't just pull an image from the training data because like keyboards kind of messed up. Yeah, there's a 3D, this one's a little better. Look at the keys, look at the look at the characters on the keys. That's just, I'd love to know the story of why it comes up with those. The characters are this, is this mush mash of various characters of various languages. This one's in the water. Oil painting of an octopus driving a race car. Uh, what if I do photo? Why are these cropped? Or is that just like a consequence of the way the model works? Oil painting of a space octopus depicted as a nebula explosion. I'm getting inspiration from these examples. Wow. 
This one's pretty impressive, actually. I don't know if I'd hang any of these on my wall, but it's impressive. 3D rendering of a cat riding on top of a race car. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's a strong pass. Like, the cats look pretty messed up, but it got the gist of it. Adore Deli style painting of melting clocks. I'm giving it a layup here. It should be able to pull this directly from the training data. Okay. Maybe that wasn't in the training data. This one looks, this looks like something Salvador Dali would have, would have made. Digital art of a beautiful beach on a different planet with many stars in the sky. Wow, that's really cool. Wow. These look nice. That is trippy in a good way. This is probably the most normal one. There's a comet in there. That's wow. That one's really cool. I don't know whether I don't know when to specify the style and when not to. It seems like if you don't specify a style, it'll just pick one style and all the images will be in that style as opposed to it giving you images of different styles in the, the results. What if we do uh, isometric 3D rendering of a cyberpunk house? I would be impressed if it gets this one. I don't know if it's gonna know what isometric means. Wow, nice. I'm impressed by that. Okay, as soon as I stop doing like octopuses, I feel like the quality of the results got a lot better. <laughs> They do look a little better before you zoom in. Once you zoom in, they look a little bit less impressive, but no, still, I mean, that's impressive. It's that they're cyberpunk houses with an isometric perspective. It, it clearly understands what isometric perspective means. Wow. Isometric 3D rendering of a surfer surfing on a wave. This I'll be impressed at. That's, that's, that's money right there. That is spot on. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but the rest are pretty good. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Forgot the beach or the wave. Isometric 3D rendering of an octopus sitting on top of an apartment building. Okay, it nailed this one pretty, pretty well. That octopus does not have eyes. That sucks. This one is hiding. What is what is going on there? It looks like its tentacles. Are <laughs> it looks like its tentacles are going through the building. This one's pretty good, sort of. Eh. Some of these look really good before you zoom in, and then they. This one's pretty good. Photo of a toy train on the bottom of the ocean. Visual art of a sailboat with legs walking in the desert carrying books. Sort of. I don't know. I'm impressed at what it did do. I mean, it didn't get exactly what I asked it for, but like it got so close that, I don't know, it's just really impressive still. I mean, I guess the sailboat does have legs, but it has arms too. I didn't ask for the arms. I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like this image is really cool aesthetically. I guess technically it didn't get exactly what I asked it for. Digital art of a house made out of spaghetti. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it there. Um, my initial thoughts are that yes, it's very impressive. I don't think it's gonna take any digital artists jobs quite yet. Similar to what I said about GitHub Copilot, you can't just rely on this thing to do your job for you if you're if you're an artist or, or a company that needs art. There's a lot of images that I would say there's a lot more bad images than good. Every once in a while, you'll you'll write a query where it nails it in every all six of these images. And then sometimes you'll write a query where, okay, it got like two or three images sort of, but the rest are complete garbage. And then there's other queries where it just doesn't get anything at all. The other thing is there seems to be a lot of like random text looking things in images where you don't necessarily want text in the image. And the text is nonsensical, right? It's like from the training data, they probably have training data with like English and all the languages in the world. 
and it kind of mushes them together and makes nonsensical text. No, it's so <laughs> it still gave me text even though I said without text. So I don't know if it doesn't understand what text is or yeah, I feel like they amend the training data with text for some reason. Um, or maybe they, they, they just have text in the training data and they can't get rid of it. That's definitely a shortcoming, I would say. The PNGs that you actually download are only 1,024 pixels by 1,024, so that's not really high res enough to really get a good size picture. If you're, if you're printing it like, I don't know, like one foot by one foot, it'll probably be fine, but beyond that, you probably will notice the pixelation. But yeah, that's a first look at OpenAI's Dolly. Uh, I can't wait to dig into it a little more and maybe think more about the potential applications Maybe we'll write an integration. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I hope you all liked it and we'll see you in the next one.